My name is uh, Thunder Biscuit. John Cantrell. Daniela. Steve Myers. Justin Moon. Stephen Delorme. This idea of the censorship-resistant money, a money that's separated from government, uh, that is not controlled by a single entity. It's an exciting technology. Something where we all get to kind of add to it and participate in it. I didn't want to work for the bad guys, but still I wanted to do something impactful. The Spiral team's been incredibly supportive. They have this sort of hands-off policy, but it's not really hands-off. They're, they're still hands-on in terms of supporting you, introducing you to people, introducing you to other projects. Gave me an opportunity to explore Bitcoin more freely without some of the constraints that come with your typical job. I show up every morning and I code, and in the evening I just stop coding. I'm really free. I can do basically whatever I want. My experience has been wonderful. You get to work with a lot of people with diverse sets of skills. It's nice kind of just feeling challenged by everyone around you. When you get a, a typical nine to five development job, it might be hard to find one that is exactly aligned with your interests. So the grant program gives you this freedom to, to really focus on what you think is important and solely that. You don't get to work with the level of developers. Open source developers have been the best quality that I've worked with. Say it's different because you don't have a boss. I'm unemployable basically. I can't, uh, I've tried and it doesn't work. Having an open source grant isn't right for everybody because you have to really be your own boss. You really have to have like a vision and you have to be compelled to create something. It gave me the, the freedom and flexibility to choose the, the, the kinds of projects that I worked on. This is a lot more fun. <laughs> Other organizations um, should do something similar to what Spiral's doing. Provide grants to Bitcoin developers, provide grants to Bitcoin designers. The most successful examples of open source funding are typically where there is a company uh, that kind of shepherds the open source project, but it doesn't work for Bitcoin because we don't want a, a single party completely dominating uh, the development of it or the design of it. I think it's important that they go to grassroots, like meetups, like small conferences, and find where the energy is there. All the interesting projects, that's where they, the, they start. Orgs dedicating budget to small donations to these libraries. Things like your top 100 dependencies, giving them a few thousand dollars each instead of like uh, seeking for like one developer on one library. I would love to see other Bitcoin companies letting their employees take sabbaticals to work on open source full time. Almost every company that benefits from the ecosystem, they all rely on these open source projects. It makes sense to me that they would help contribute back to those projects. More exchanges just and other companies, they need Bitcoin to be safe and secure and just to work if they want to make money, basically. More developers and more fun. More people using it. People being hungry for better. Bitcoin is awesome, but it's easy to be complacent about it. I think Bitcoin is a daily fight. We're nowhere near ready or a final state or anything like that. Better user experiences. More mentoring and education for people that are maybe in college or people that want to skip college and just get into software development. Positive energy, whatever, just going around, just people being uh, super happy and super energized and super motivated to work on Bitcoin and to improve it.